Welcome to the series on Digital Performer 10.1 Explained. In this series, I'm going to cover the new features and improvements to Digital Performer 10. Starting off, in DP10, they introduced the concept of clips and how you could use the clip window as a tool to experiment with clips and build up ideas on the fly and use it as an improvisational tool in a live or studio context. Now, the idea of clips has been taken further in DP10.1. Now you can convert any region into a clip and then with that you've got some extra benefits on how you can use clips within the different windows and in the clip window. For example, let's take this MIDI part over here. This is a bass part. Now what Digital Performer does is it sort of breaks up regions when there's gaps within the part. So it just sort of blocks it out. So you've got these different regions over here, but if you click on it, takes you to the MIDI window and as you can see that's all one part. Also if you jump across the sequence window you can see the inline MIDI edits over here of the whole part. But when you go to the tracks window where you do most of your ranging of your different regions it breaks it up and this can be a bit of extra work. For example if you take this and move it it's only going to move that. What you find in the past is you'd have to lasso around the whole part and then move it around to include everything. Now let me show you how you can convert these regions to clips and how it improves your editing and arranging of parts. I'm going to lasso around all those parts, then I'm going to go to the region menu and choose pack to clips. Now that packs it into a clip here and I can just take this now and drag it so all that MIDI is contained within one clip. And when I double click on it, it actually opens it up in the clip window. You'll also notice that this clip window looks slightly different to the MIDI editor. I'm just going to select these drums, double click on it, and it goes into the MIDI window here. Let's make it slightly bigger, and you can just see the difference. In the MIDI editor window, you've got your MIDI notes, you've got a lane below where you can show the different CC data, and then you've got your piano roll. Now it looks pretty similar, but you've just basically got the clip properties. You've got your MIDI notes, a piano editor, and then the clip properties where you can change the start and duration and change the clip to a looping clip. So it's slightly different, but as you can see, there is a different look between how you work with clips and how you work with MIDI data. I must say, I actually like the look of this clip window. It looks more modern and a bit more simplified. And you'll probably find that Digital Performer is going to take the clip based editing even further, so you're going to see this feature set expanded upon. In future versions. Now let me just go down to another part. Over here I've got a MIDI instrument. And I'll show you how when you record to it, how it breaks up the part with the MIDI regions and the gaps between the notes. And then I'll also show you how you can record to a clip so that it doesn't break it up. So I'm going to have two bars as a lead up and then record. Here we go. As you can see, it broke up that region there. I'm gonna actually do that again and have shorter notes so you can see that even more clearly. Here you go. So there, you've got the three parts. I'd have to select them if I needed to edit them, or I can just simply select all the regions and then say, pack into clips. But if you don't want to do it that way, you can actually choose to make your recordings two clips. So I'm going to undo that. I'm going to go to Digital Performer, Preferences, scroll all the way down to Play and Record, then MIDI Options, and I can choose to record MIDI in tracks as clips. Now watch this. I'm going to record again and let's see what happens. And 
And as you can see, that's been recorded straight to a clip. Now, I actually like the look of this and the way it works. I'm used to this way of working where when you record a part, it's all contained within a clip. Then I can go into the clip editor and make any changes I want. Maybe I want to select all the notes and then quantize them. So you've still got all your same MIDI editing tools. It's now just all contained within this clip window and it's recorded to a clip part. You can also take your audio parts and convert them to clips. Just select the part, put a region, pack into clips. So it's not a big difference, but now these are clips. And if you double click them, it also opens them up in the clip window. If you don't want to work with clips, you can select those same parts and unpack the clips. So that's not a clip anymore. And that's not a clip anymore either. Double clicking this now takes you through into the sequencer or you can go into the waveform editor with that audio waveform. The only thing is I haven't noticed that you can record to audio clips. If you go to the audio preferences and then to play and record and audio options, I don't see the option here to record straight to clips. It's only with the MIDI parts. Maybe this will be something that they introduce in a future version, but for now, you'll have to record your audio into regions and then convert them to clips later. Now, obviously, if you've converted your stuff to clips, you can easily move it around now. It's all contained within one part. And if you open up your clip window, so I'm just going to drag this up and go to clips, I can actually take these parts now and just drag them straight onto a clip in the clip window and build up a different arrangement or test out some scenes and how they flow and then move those clips back into the track view to build up the arrangement. So definitely using a clip-based editing approach, you can work between these different windows and make the most of the feature sets within Digital Performer. So that covers the clips and how they're now handled in 10.1 and how you can pack audio and MIDI regions into clips and then have that functionality of your parts within the clip editor, which is slightly different to the other editors. So Digital Performer is definitely furthering the way that audio and MIDI is handled in the application. You now have the extra benefit of either using it as a tool for arrangement building for a live performance or just as another way of working with the audio within a studio context. Now in the next video, let's take a look at the new stem exporting feature when you choose the bounce to disk.